Hey, what's going on, homies? I'm Loser, and welcome back to another video. We got the Xbox Game Showcase and the Xbox Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct event. We're going to be reacting to that, watching, see what games are coming out and everything like that. I'm really excited for the Black Ops 6 Direct because I want to find out more information about the game because I'm really excited for this game to release. Anyways, it's about to start soon, so let's get right into it. Ooh, here we go, Black Ops 6, baby. This is what we've been waiting for, really. I've been most excited about this. As I think most people are. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude, it looks good. Hello and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have wow. something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. And I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. This game looks stunning, by the way. This is absolutely gorgeous. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the US government, branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. The team has been meticulously crafting Weird. every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Multiplayer is of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni Movement System. New way to push beyond yeah, your limits this is, and um, move like an action hero. That's interesting. You'll okay, so you got some dolphin diving. Round based that's zombies cool. is absolutely back and better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, it better be. let's step into Last the mind bending campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. No turning back now. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that okay. action-packed blockbuster I mean, feel to every step of so. the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options Ooh, to finish okay. each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. See, I'm a big fan of Call of Duty campaigns. I love campaigns in general. The um, game is packed with so unexpected cool. moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. Kind of like the Soviet Black Union Ops was Cold crumbling War. after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The US yeah. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied okay. to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Wow, okay. Some you should see. Oh my God, him. him. Black Ops woods. 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. Yeah, my fucking boy. In this new chapter, we see a different side good. of Woods following his traumatic he injury really at good. the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. 
She's a mm. born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always like been hugely Leslo, valuable to almost. the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to Damn. trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Dima, a mysterious assassin. Huh. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Holy Adler, shit. who's gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. So it does die in the Cold War. That's because of people were like, single player oh, this campaign. We prioritize Black Ops Cold War, variety just Black Ops 5, and I guess that's, you know, confirmation that it was. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types. I mean, obviously, we're in Black Ops 6 now. From the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. We aim uh, to take players all gamble. over the world and Can immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate the through really them good. as they see fit. The gums seem like they're going to be Where really we nice. have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. Maybe. Damn. The movement looks crazy. This movie looks so good. I like it. Everything looks like it flows really well. We are excited to offer I mean, that's a variety of different wise, enemy types not in the like multiplayer. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right. You can take them both down with one shot. Nice Holy and quiet. Shit. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. They'll cut off escape routes, push on player's location, and force them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where Ooh. we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. I've always One thought mission that in like particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. AI in you and your team are hunting down missile launchers weird. with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people! Wow. They know we're coming! find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. Yeah, some classic. We have a mission that takes place in an maps. opulent casino in southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. In another one of our missions, we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. So if I can put all my money on black. We are excited to that. offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, RCXD. tranquilizer trap, oh, okay. adrenaline stem, homing knife, oh, damn. disruptor, Black Ops 4, disruptor. or like the uh, shock trap. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. Hmm. You might remember we also had that in Black oh, yeah. Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. Wow, pretty. I don't really What's care about that aspect of it, but it I mean, it's used to be cool. a KGB black site, which was operational during the it. 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also bringing Me. back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze cool. evidence collected throughout missions. Look at Woods there. My guy. Okay. Capture. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go! 
Holy shit. That was sick. Great. That looked so I fucking we cool. I love seeing how they do those behind the- With Oh, Black here we go. 6, Omni movement. Our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Some slide action. Slide into- We've pushed ourselves at every okay. corner to innovate and craft- Oh, whoa. Okay. Signature Black Ops experience so for our players. So running backwards now? Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call Oh, and you can dolphin and dive to the side. Six, instead we're of like redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, wow. players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. The this dolphin dive is cool as fuck. Like never before and I think chain combat maneuvers like slide dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 oh, okay. degrees range of motion interesting from the beginning camping is going to be taken to a whole new level thing, with that. why and then realize people actually move that way what happens if we get rid of that construct and then instantly it opened up like oh if you can sprint in any direction then you can dive in any direction you could slide in any direction which then that's kind of cool as fuck all though the, on the ground movement and everything else chaining together I think this is going to open up the movement, like, skill gap so much. Um, I'm excited to see what people can do with that. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game. Whether it's campaign... Damn. The shotguns look so good. We truly I want to see a sniper, once though. You experience Pull out that sniper. Movement, there's no going back. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled okay. in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mental assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Oh, okay. Intelligent movement I see. really so it's started just like with this idea that we want all players to focus on what hmm. they want to do and not how to do it. We want I feel every like player, takes... regardless of skill level okay. or input or experience I, I with Call it, of Duty, yeah. to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. Okay, I understand why they would do that. Damn, we looked job. at other genres like racing games, where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. That was cool. I don't think I this is a one-size-fits-all thing, and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions, so we, now we can determine oh, if an enemy God. will shot their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based I see. on their like, choices. I know why they're doing this, a but multiplayer is going to be a really bitch because I guarantee you that hit markers are going to be way more evident. Where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction okay. that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. Okay, we I like that idea. Looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Oh, big motherfucker. Take cover! Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. I was gonna say, so far, they look gorgeous. Through our process I mean, of photogrammetry, really good, fucking geared and was acquired, characters. scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, the oils on the their fuck? palms as they're sweaty and running through wow. the situations that they're in. They really put some detail into this. Paying awesome attention zombies. To Dude, that looked cool as fuck. The thing okay. that they're most Not excited bad. about Not is bad. the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Yeah, baby. Sniper action. Our heroes are rogue operatives, and they operate that. outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. 
and that allowed us to pull a unique okay. mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any playstyle that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. Beautiful. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper-real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real-world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create Fuck, that, that hyper-real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, hyper-real is cool, but I'd rather my game function correctly than be, like, hyper-realistic. You know, I don't the Black think Ops really 6 user experience about. is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it, and our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD Everything, combines like, some from of what our we're best so designs far, looks in a clean, streamlined I gotta imagine. A little For bit like Black Ops Cold War, Duty, but like, players will be able it doesn't to seem their HUD in dramatic crowded. ways to suit their needs. For instance, Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup, or maybe you want oh, your HUD nice. centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play oh, hardcore gross. anywhere, or finally put <laughs> the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As yeah, I kind of like that, that though. I'm glad that they've made that change. Because that's Black nice Ops for Six delivers an end-to-end -end -end experience from the lobby or, like, making into combat and back. Where player progress and achievement are celebrated the in a big way. Weaponsmith looks cool. And the lobby looks nice. Dude, this game actually doesn't look that bad. Alright, we're all settled. Audio's good. Everybody's happy, Jeff. Lawrence got it. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used to handle prestige. Oh, they're bringing the old system back, aren't they? Traditional Bring that motherfucking system back. back in yeah, Call of Duty baby. With Black Ops love series. to see that. We've pulled I the love best to see of that. the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black so Ops 6 will have 10 system. prestiges, each with a valuable oh, wow. set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through Damn. and a classified reward okay. to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. All right, I see. I, I, I like that idea. I'm glad that they brought that back. Here we go, multiplayer. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Okay. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which oh, we're happy shit. to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, wow. but of course that means you're going to get some early details on maps. We get the theater we're mode back? It hasn't been in the game in so long. We'll be with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and 4 strike okay. maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that we they like want? So we're duos? back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have nice. that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. 
The maps have their own okay. stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Okay, that's kind of neat. I mean, I think that's what they've done before, but I understand that. We've covered a lot today but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Zombies? Fuck yeah, baby. Oh, shit. That was cool. Round Base Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, okay. and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Plus, right. I mean, that kind of helps with like, getting out of zombie hard specific situations. features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Step oh, interview, man. AB, Mark. Now, we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. Make August sure to stay tuned for okay. details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more get into about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions school, and your feedback from cool. our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care about Warzone. Our goal on Black uh, Ops 6 was, gross. and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done. I'm so tired and frankly, of Battle Royale, man. Play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other that cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible the campaign tells an all-new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round base zombies. Nice. There is so much more not to share across stuff. all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. All three game modes. On behalf then... of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. They already got the cosmetics out. Holy shit. They've got everything. Wow, yeah. I mean, that entire reveal and, and what they were doing, is, it was pretty good. I'm, I'm happy to see that some of the directions that they're taking are like kind of what the community has been giving them feedback on for the last few years. And honestly, they've been lacking in a lot of those departments. I'm excited for the omnidirectional movement, like the omnidirectional movement. I think that that's going to be really cool. And I think that'll increase the skill gap in players, obviously, because you got whole new ways to move and get around people. Um, so that'll be fun to see. Hopefully it's not like completely busted whenever they release it. 
Um, they said the three game modes and then they mentioned Warzone. So I'm not really sure what is going to go on there. I don't really care about Warzone. I haven't cared about Warzone since the original one dropped during quarantine. And that was, that was about the only time that I played it. But yeah, I don't really care about Warzone that much. But the multiplayer and zombies and campaign are all something that I really care about. And that's always like what I've loved about Call of Duty. Um, it's just like that classic feel of round based zombies. You have a good campaign. The multiplayer is good. Um, and not has so many bugs. It doesn't have so many bugs that it's almost impossible to play. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I obviously we'll see more when the game drops, but this was really fucking cool. The, I mean, this is incredible and it makes me excited for the game. And I've not been this excited about a Call of Duty game since like Black Ops 3 was revealed. And that was been a minute. Um, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 kind of had me excited too, but then they didn't have a campaign and I was like, what the fuck? So this is cool. I'm excited and I will try to get it. I'm, I'll probably end up playing this one. Uh, just kind of going back to the roots of Call of Duty, which is a game I've been playing for years at this point. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe while you're there. I will see you in the next video. Bye.